something a little different today uh, and share another kind of 20 minute pickup. I used to do these on my channel. I think I've only done a couple. It's been years though. Uh, I think I did a 20 minute pickup for my kitchen and a 20 minute pickup for my mudroom, which are both very high traffic areas in my home. Well, another high traffic area in my home and increasingly so um, just for me, but one that kind of turns into a dumping ground to be perfectly honest is my office here in my, my home office. Um, and I think I spend a lot of time and energy picking up around every other area of my house so much more because they're common areas and I want them to be neat and tidy for my family. Um, and then when it comes to my office, I kind of let things slide and it got a little crazy between the holidays and leaving for our family home in Utah really quickly after Christmas um, and not really having time to pick up before we left in here specifically. The rest of my house was perfectly clean, but not this area. And then when I got back, ever since I've been back, it's just been like, I've just been busy and there's, I just haven't. I haven't put the time towards it um, and I feel like I've been deprioritizing it because it's just my room and it's not one of the family spaces. Um, but the thing is, when my office gets really messy or any part of my house gets really messy, but especially my office, I like can't think straight. It is so distracting to me. So uh, last week I was finally said enough is enough and I said I'm going to dedicate like a few hours to this. I'm going to get half a day and I'm just going to get everything done and cleaned up. Well it was so so overwhelming <laughs> that um, I ended up kind of bunching things into smaller piles but then that took a while and I just got tired and I didn't want to do it anymore and I let it go again. And then this week I was thinking, okay, this is it, we gotta do it. I, I need to make it more manageable, so I need to break it down into manageable clumps, but that doesn't result in piles all over my office on the surface and stuff. I wanted my surfaces to be clean so I could focus and have like a clean mind, um, but not have to dedicate a whole day to cleaning up the office all at once. Um, so I devised this stratagem where I would spend 20 minutes putting all of the piles of things into bins kind of organized by category and after that 20 minutes was up, that was it. And then I would spend another um, 20 minutes per bin but it didn't have to be that day. Um, so I thought I'd give myself a week, make it more manageable, break it down. It worked so well, it's perfectly clean now, I can't believe in total, it only took me just over an hour. Um, 20. No, it took me, in truth, it took me about, probably about two hours total to go through all of the bins after I had put everything into the bins from my piles. It worked out. So I thought I would share with you because this is a tip um, that maybe some of you can use when you are facing an insurmountable mess um, and you just need some clean space to like feel like you can handle it. Because, let's be honest, sometimes when they're really big messes, it is like really ridiculously overwhelming and hard to jump in. And I find that by kind of um, micromanaging my messes and, and kind of putting them into organized piles and then when I put them into the bins, it just helped me kind of move the process along faster without feeling overwhelming. So of course I filmed this because I wanted to share. Um, so if you want to see how I cleaned up my mess in 20 minute pickup increments, continue watching. To be honest, my office looked way worse than this before I pushed everything into more manageable piles, but it was still piles of things, they were still getting on my nerves, and I still needed a way to tackle it without feeling overwhelmed. So I pulled in a couple of my favorite bins, these are the Reasonful Market Totes, and the Like It laundry baskets, which you can no longer get at the container store, but I found them on Amazon in really cute colors. And I set my timer for 20 minutes and I thought, I'm going to do this. I'm going to pull this together. I'm going to get everything off the countertops and out of piles and into the bins. So I designated four bins for my main office things to put away. One which was prizes that I need to ship out now or in the near future. Another one was for future prizes. Uh, a third one was for personal items that just needed to be sorted and stashed. And the fourth was for 
business work related items, you know, pertaining to my blog or YouTube. And I went through all of the piles that I've laid out all around my office, on my desk, on my project table, on my window seat, on some of my other desktop areas, and I just started sorting things into these bins. And I found this went really, really quickly. And I actually kind of rearranged the bins a little bit in, in the process, kind of just to flow better as I was going. Um, but really, once I got started, it worked out well. Now the two reasonful market baskets, I used one designated for products that had to go downstairs and one for products that or things that had to go in my room. And I do a lot of open box posts and things, I get a lot of subscriptions, so I usually have a, some products that need to be sorted and stashed. Um, so that's, that's how I use those two baskets. So in total, I used the four bins and the two baskets, and in less than 20 minutes, I got everything pulled away. In fact, I was surprised that I had eight full minutes left after I was done, which gave me enough time to put the items in the baskets from my room and downstairs away. After I was done, I pushed the bins up against my window seat, ready to be sorted. I designated 20 minutes per bin. I found this was ample time to get everything sorted and put away, and I even had some time left, as you can see. And before I knew it, all of the bins were gone and emptied, and everything was in its place. Everything in my office was back in its place, no more piles, no bins. It was a manageable, easy way to sort my office. As you can see, it really this really worked for me and I felt like it wasn't something, I mean I've always been a person that puts things into piles um, when I'm like working on projects or working through messes just to kind of organize things before I put them away, just kind of how I work in my brain. But having the bins and, and making it less of a pressured, okay, let's get this done today, and making it more of, all right, well, let's get this office clear today, but you have all week and only 20 minutes a day or whatever to put each bin away of things. That just made it like a breeze. It really was no trouble at all, and it wasn't overwhelming. It wasn't in, insurmountable. Um, it worked out really well, and I just, I thought that would be fun to share. Um, so that's, that's my, my little 20 minute pickup for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. So while I was cleaning my office, I unearthed some treasures. Uh, and I thought I'd do a giveaway. It has nothing to do with cleaning up or office organization or anything like that. This is just really just fun things I found that I wanted to give away. One of which is the Pop Sugar Special Edition Must Have For Him holiday box. This was a special holiday box. I did a video on it. I will put a link to that video below if you want to see the contents of what's in here. Um, so there's that. That's a one giveaway prize. The other prize is the Sigma Ethereal Radiance Collection. They sent this to me um, late last year as a PR thing and I just have so much makeup and it's really beautiful things. Very shimmery. It's got a beautiful brush set um, and lip bases and these cool lip products and all of these interesting glitters and eyeshadows and things and I just I, I'm over my head with makeup already it's another thing I, I want to kind of purge this year so um, I'm going to be giving that away as well and then lastly um, the nice folks at Julep sent me a little gift package and it's a lot of things that I already have from the subscription that I pay for the Julep Maven subscription that's uh, a lot of duplicate things so I thought it'd be fun to give it away to one of you. It's got the Bare Face Cleansing Oil and the Length Matters Mascara and an Orbital Eyeshadow and two of their plush pouts and three of their polishes. These are all really nice things. So this is a just a standard for me giveaway. It's open internationally. It will run for one week's time if you're under the age of 18. I just ask that you have parental permission. And to enter, you just head on over to my uh, blog. I'll have a link below where you can find this giveaway. And when you enter the giveaway, you can pick which prize you want in the event that you win. Um, so there is that. There will be three winners, but they will each win one of the prizes. Uh, so good luck. I'm actually kind of in a mood and I've been gearing up to this for the last year where I really want to do like a major purge of everything in my house and I was thinking it would be good maybe to like tackle one room or area of my house every month um, and I was wondering if you guys would be interested in a series where I share that with you 
on camera. I don't know in what way I would share that. I'd have to think about that if you guys have any suggestions. Um, but maybe it'd be something fun we could do together, like in March we tackle our bedrooms, then in, in April we tackle the kitchen. I don't know, something like that. Let me know if you guys are interested in that, and I will try to think more about how I could film something like that and make it interesting and, and worth your time. Um, but, uh, yeah, that... <laughs> That's what I have to share with you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Take care, and thanks so much for watching. Bye, you guys.